Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I want to let you know about our free Divi child theme and extra child theme. So I'm going to be going over how you can go ahead and get that, download it from our site, what's included, and why you would want to use that. So let's get started and show you this freebie. All right, so over here on the blog post, we kind of started out with a little intro like how most of our tutorials have code snippets and how, you know, a lot of times I'm saying, you know, go paste a snippet here, or there, you know, and then, you know, little things like that. So I, I, I always refer to it. And if you don't have a child theme, you know, you kind of need one for a lot of these. That's why I kind of wanted to make this available to you. So anyway, I talk about that. I do have that one where to add custom code in Divi. That's a full guide there in the video. You can check that out if you need that. Another guide that I have is child themes versus layout packs. So check that out as well. If you're confused why you need one, there's a lot of reasons you need a child theme. Um, if you update Divi, that's kind of the big one. You know, any code that you would put in Divi would just be gone every time they update. So every week or two when they update, it'd be gone. Um, and then there's other things. There's actually even um, caching and hierarchy and all this stuff that just doesn't work in to have it in theme options there. So there you go. You can go check out the Divi theme, the child theme for the Divi theme, child theme for the extra theme. So here's the one for Divi. Um, and what's included in, the, in both of these is the same. So a style sheet. So the style.css, uh, this, is, this is where you add your CSS snippets. That's the best place to add any snippets. So if you're following our tutorials and you know you come across, you know, I say here, paste this CSS snippet in theme options, then that's the same thing as saying in your in your child theme dot style dot css file okay a lot of times i'll say theme options because you know i don't not everyone has a child theme so i say that but if you have one put it in style dot css and then functions dot php that's where you would put any code that i have that is um like a function or something that and then i'll tell you it'll say in there if, if it's saying like i know the one like i think even like my cropping of images and i think my promo bar with the theme builder uses that stuff so you'll you'll see i'll have that noted and then scripts.js that's where you put jquery and javascript and a lot of times i would normally have put that in theme options but um it actually doesn't like even cache and stuff in there and it's, it's just it's just better to have that in our child theme so i decided to add that to the child theme a scripts.js file and then i enqueued that as well and then the screenshot here that's just the the thumbnail that you see when you add a child theme and then you'll have to subscribe i do i do like that because i know it can be a pain in the butt but you know i i spend hours and hours making freebies and, and i don't spam people i don't send emails out for i mean i hardly ever send emails to be honest um and so i try to make it as if i'm on the receiving end what would i want to get and how often would i want to get it so you don't have to worry about that so um there you go here i have how to use it and I'm going to have my video here. So there you go. And the same thing for the extra one, the extra child theme. And that was a request, you know, a lot of times, you know, Divi gets all the attention and for good reason, but I did have a request for that. Um, a, you can't use a Divi child theme in the extra theme. That's just not going to work. Um, and so that's why I made that. There's some slight changes that I had to do. And again, here's just basically going over what it's all about and go ahead and download them and use them. I'll just show you real quick here in a file browser what that looks like. All right, so here we are. Um, and so here's the functions.php file, screenshot, style.css, and inside the JS folder is the scripts.js. So that's how they look. That's exactly how this other one works for extra. Then open these in a code editor. I prefer brackets. You can see the little icon. That's my default there. So to install a child theme, you would go to your dashboard, then go to appearance and themes. All right. So once you're under themes, you can click on add new and I'll just walk you through this real quick with the one upload theme, choose file. I'm going to do the extra one. I already have one for Divi installed. So for me, I'm just going to pick this one here and then install now. All right, so that was just like a normal theme installation and you click on activate. Now, you know, since I just installed the extra one, you would need to have extra installed, of course, but there you go. So 
that's how you install it just like a normal theme and then it will show up here and then it'll take the place here on the left hand side the one that's active and I'm just going to share this tip with you so to edit your child theme you would go to appearance and theme editor and then you would pick the one from the drop down so a lot of times I do go over this in the tutorials but this is how you would use it and then to use the child theme um, there's I'll show you two things go to appearance and then theme editor and then over here in the top right you would select your theme so just select the one that you know you're the free child theme from PA Creative and then hit select because I don't actually load it. All right, so then here is the style.css um, and then the functions.php file. And then, you know, that's how you edit it. Mine's a little different, but don't, that's because I'm using this as my demo for various tutorials, but don't, don't worry about that. Yours will have a JS file here and the scripts file. But basically, I'm just showing you, you can come in here to appearance and then theme editor. And then this is where you add your code. Now, another way you could do it, I have a plugin called WP File Manager installed. I love this thing so much. I use this all the time. So you can come in here and actually just go into it that way. Now you'll need to go to WP Content and then Themes and then go into the child theme in particular. So actually, here I can actually look in this one. You'll see this is how yours will look the style.css, screenshot, functions.php and the JS so you know if when I'm using this plug and I come in here and do all this stuff look at this so I actually would use like the code editor you know and then it pops this up and here it's you know enqueuing the files and stuff then you can save and close so I really like this and go here and then code editor and you can edit the files so that's kind of what I recommend for you as you're pasting snippets and putting these child themes to use Okay, so there you go. Now you know where you can get a child theme if you're using the Divi theme or the extra theme and you know you're following along tutorials or you just you know you're using our custom post type generator or something like that and you need a child theme. So there you go. I hope this was useful and we'll see you guys in the next video.